Deion Davis now working the so, arm across the uh, the neck here. It'd be Zero. interesting to see how this matchup develops. Effion Davis now, I think, is gonna working a submission here, and Amanda Nogueira she may be able to get it. As we see Gordon Ryan and Yuri Shamois getting started here early. These guys have faced off yeah. a couple times now. Gordon Ryan coming out on top in both both of the, their previous exchanges. Neither under this rule set. That is true. I was expecting Gordon to pull. Ah, uh, yeah, he's, he wants that leg. He Maybe does, going back to that honey hole that we saw. Yeah, in the he, he does such a good job there, man. Like that really is the strongest position, I feel like. And Yuri's just got to be really sharp about not letting Gordon get underneath him there. He's so far he's unable. Yeah, there he is again. And Yuri's. And remember, it's not a reap unless you attack the leg. I think Yuri. Yuri is, uh, keeps looking at the referee. I, I, I wonder if he's wondering about the definition of... of uh, no, because the criteria is if, if, if Yuri's foot were on Gordon Ra about Ryan's uh, opposite side, on Ryan's right side of his body, that would be a reap. Or if Ryan attacked that inside leg. So if Ryan attacked Yuri's left foot, that would be a reap. As long as he doesn't attack that footlock, he's fine. You know, I think you, you, you said something yesterday that really struck me uh, as profound, Robert, and you said, you know, this is a position that everyone should be studying. And uh, I, I went home last night uh, with my wife, who's obviously an active competitor, and, uh, and, and told her the same thing, which is we saw Gordon Ryan so effortless, effortlessly <laughs> sweep uh, uh, Patrick Gaudio yesterday. Um, it was really incredible. Uh, yeah. The, the kind of proficiency, and we really haven't seen anybody else use the position that way. And uh, no, so it's yeah, it's definitely something that uh, we will be seeing it more and more people using that honey hole to sweep. It's a great, I mean, it's a great offensive position, man. Absolutely, I, I don't think that. Oh, Yuri, maybe with the back take, Gordon, maybe with the sweep. Look, Can he establish? Sweep. Yeah, he does. Two points. Yeah. Great sweep by Ryan there, and that. I think that, you know, the, the, the key around Ryan's guard there is, like, really keep your feet behind you. Don't let him get underneath you. Once he gets underneath your legs, like, he's pulled that sweep off pretty much consistently every single time he's gone for it. All right, let's watch that sweep again. So Yuri looking yeah. for the back here to start. I think Yuri for a second had thought that he was going to go to the back and it just didn't work his way. Now Yuri trying sweep. to come back up here. Gordon trying to sprawl with a headlock, front I, headlock here. Yeah, I feel like Gordon's got a weight advantage over Yuri. They're out of bounds. They're gonna stop it. Yeah. And they're gonna be back up on the feet here as things get back started. Updating you guys in the women's featherweight final here. It's still Effion Davis in the mount. It's very similar to the last match we had with Maya Sebastos and Patty Fontes. Uh, Effion in control on top. And still in the mount on Amanda Nogueira. And you can see, you know, Yuri. You can see, okay, I'm going to call the people watching this match really closely. Cyborg's right there. You have Fabrice Verdum, Holz Gracie, Caio Teja, Andre Galvão. Uh, these guys are like glued to the. <laughs> Inches away from the mat, I feel like just like staring at Cyborg, um, now Yuri and um, and Gordon Ryan go, because everyone's interested in to see you know this this matchup. This is a match people have been waiting for for quite some time. Yuri's been like talking about it nonstop, and Gordon's been such a dominant guy in recent tournaments that you know I think a lot and, of and, every, and everyone wants to stop. Him. And Ryan brings a lot of attention to the game, and I think that's probably why we I, have I a lot of people. I think it's the main reason. Like I, I will say this: I think that the whole crown thing is very unusual. The BJJ community, personally, I don't like it. I think it's unnecessary. I think you can be very good and, and, and respected in jiu-jitsu and admired for your own skills without the excessive marketing. Um, and, and I think the BJJ community feels that way in general. It's totally unnecessary, and I think it upsets a lot of people, especially because, like I was mentioning yesterday, he's standing with a crown next to Coyote, who's 10 times world champion. Think about that, right? It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's disrespectful to say the least. With that being said, Gordon is amazing. Like, he's very skilled. He's backing it up. So, And I, I think, think that's what draws the attention to someone like Ryan is that, 
they do they do bring that 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 moniker with them and and along with it he's been able to back it up and i think that yeah. you know we we saw here yesterday you know uh someone like gaudio that made him go into that next gear i think you know that's what made this match so exciting is up until the last moment it looked like hey he could potentially lose right and uh, yeah. i think that's one of the reasons why you have so many people glued to this match right now yeah i think people want to see him lose i think there's definitely that uh going on and he seems to enjoy the attention like Personally, I, I, I could have 20 Black Belt World times. I can't see myself doing that, you know. Um, but, you know, he seems to enjoy the attention. Maybe he thrives on it. And some people feed off hate. So props to him. There's Gavon, Verdun, Coyoteja, all watching the match very closely. Everyone's interested in what is it that's going on and what is that we're going to have to prepare ourselves for and what do we have to beat? How are we going to, you know, stop that honey hole from the bottom? It's like anytime someone comes up with a new development, whatever it is, right? Where first, first from 50 50, people start using it in competition, which is a big mystery. And then it was a Baron Bolo for a while, like, how do we stop this? And then, you know, heel hooks for a while, they're like, people couldn't quite figure it out. And at the end of the day, it's just a trend. These trends, they come and go. People give it time, people figure it out. I really see Gordon like, kind of setting the trend here for that honey hole from the bottom and using that as a sweep because it's yeah. such an unusual position, people aren't prepared for it. And you could see yesterday, uh, Gaudio, as part of the reason why it was such an, uh, an easy way for, for Ryan to sweep him was you could tell he didn't, he wasn't sure of the position. He wasn't. And so he, he, uh, he wasn't really sure what to do with the position. And you could tell that was one of the things that made it easier for him to get swept is Gaudio was afraid of making a mistake and, and yes. doing something that was going to put him at risk inside of that position. Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's because it's unorthodox, people aren't quite, their reaction isn't, isn't quite there because it's like imagine a wrestler, right, going against a jiu-jitsu guy who's never seen a triangle before. He gets caught in the triangle because he's just not familiar with that position. He doesn't know how to react to it. And that's kind of what's going on here. People just don't know how to deal with Gordon constantly feeding that dope mount and fishing for that honey hole from the bottom. Once people start doing that to you in the gym, people start messing around with the move. They figure it out. They move on. And Davis with the win there. Yeah, Effion Davis, your 2018 featherweight female black belt champion. And it is her first, and I believe it's her first year at black belt. And she really made a name for herself here at this tournament, uh, submitting her way uh, through the division, looking really sharp in the absolute as well. And Amanda Noguera, as I mentioned before, the reigning Gi world champion at the weight. Um, so Yuri very impressive performance and from her. Gordon with five minutes left. Yuri needs to score that pass to win. Yep, Ryan up 2-0. So that is the position to study at home, everyone. That honey hole from the bottom, that inverted to the leg lock, to the sweep. Every BJJ practitioner has homework for the next few months. And, and you know, as we were talking about before, um, you know, one of the things about Ryan, he's very dynamic here, but he, he we've seen his guard pass before. So it's, it's not yeah. to say that he can't be scored on from this position. Ryan here looking to get underneath of Yuri. Ryan looking like he might want to come up there for a second. Four minutes, 19 seconds left to go. Yuri working around here on the outside. Ryan inverting. Ryan snapped back a couple times here from for triangle. There, there he is again. See, he fishes for that leg, and he inverts so easily. Um, on mat number four, we have the women's lightweight final between Tammy Musumeci and Catherine Perret. Uh, looks like Yuri might be finding something there. He's sprawling heavy on that leg, but... Does he have a leg drag? Well, he does, but Gordon has the knee trap, right? But Yuri has the foot hidden behind his knee. So Yuri has a leg drag right now. If, if he can keep Gordon's hips on the ground, he can wear Gordon out. The problem is if Gordon inverts, keeps his butt up in the air, he's going to get underneath Yuri again. Yeah. Yuri's job is to keep Gordon flat right now. But you can see Gordon like really lifting his hips up in the air. And, he's got, and see, he trapped the foot again. Yuri's got to make sure he keeps that right foot on the outside of uh, um, Gordon's knee. It's on the inside now. Gordon could be inverted any second now. Yeah, there he goes. See? Yeah, and now that does leg is it, free. man, so well. And that knee bar is right there. Yeah, Yuri's going to lock his legs together, but he's going to have to watch out. There's a toehold there, too. Is, is there not, Robert? There is. Uh, yeah, Yuri is a bad spot, but 
Ryan is using a lot of energy now. I yeah. mean, they both are. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of core strength going on for both, both parties. Uh, Ryan could be getting a sweep out of this. If not the, lead, uh, the knee bar, potentially a sweep. Yuri might have to put himself off balance to defend that. There we go. Yeah, you see Ryan tangling the legs up here. He's going for that straight full lock now because that's a legal foot lock even with the reap, even in a honey hole. He's attacking the outside leg. And we see Gordon trying to use that as a sweep. That would pretty much give him a huge lead. I, 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 if Yuri gets swept here, he might have a hard time recovering. Yeah, that four, that four point deficit's pretty big. That's a mount or a back or something like that that he would need to get to make up that score. Ryan's still here on that straight foot lock. You know, good, a good question, Robert, is because these guys are going to face off later today, you know, how do you approach a match when you know you're going to – I mean, uh, have you ever been in that situation where you knew you were going to fight somebody else later in the day okay. again? Yeah, so, for example, if I were Gordon and I saw a potential sweep here because he pretty much – he's in a good spot. Now, I might, like, not show all my cards. I got this one move. I could have done it now, but I'm not going to. I might save it for the next fight. So the first match determines the dynamic of the second because they're going to use this as, their, the, 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 uh, as, an exp as experience to – you know, what, the, what, what kind of dynamic is going to take place in the, the second match. If Yuri really loses this match, and it's looking like he might lose this fight now, he's probably going to he's probably gonna ch switch, I mean, change strategies completely. I can see him pulling guard the next time, which, in my opinion, is what he should have done. I think he should have pulled guard on Ryan. Um, You're in a weird position here. Right, right, yes. Good Ryan job now looking to come out though, on the back. But his back take is so strong, too. This could be bad for Yuri. Yuri's recovering well here. Very well, but he's. Uh, but he gives up the sweep to give his back. Exactly. With one minute left, that's two points, Gordon. I think Gordon on bottom has proven to be very, very difficult to to deal with uh, for just about anyone. Like I, and, and everyone he's competed against yesterday, and so far today with Yuri, he's been. Right, no, no one seems to have an bottom. answer for that honey hole yet, yeah. right, Robert? Once again, guys, it's something that it, it's new, it's going to be a trend, and then it takes some people a while to figure it out, and then once people figure it out, it's, it's just like any other move in jiu-jitsu. Uh, here we have a replay of that sweep. You can see Gordon fishing for the back there. He's got Yuri's left leg trapped with the hook. And Yuri Ryan, Ryan's transitioning to mount now. Now he's in mount. And, and, you know, we're talking about these guys are going to face each other later today. Not, now, Ryan is going to get to the mount here. I don't think he's going to get the finish with 13 seconds left to go, but, you know. He's going to try. He's going to try. Definitely leaves a mark here uh, for Yuri. I mean, when somebody beats you by 11 points, and that's what Ryan's going to finish here with is 11. Um, does that stick with you, Robert, going into uh, an, another matchup? Yeah, Yuri's, I mean, it might mess with his head a little bit. It kind of depends where you are mentally. I hope it doesn't affect his performance in the open weight class. Uh, but he might. You know, it might, might, like, he walks into the next fight going, like, I can't. Like, he made so frustrated he couldn't pass Gordon's guard. And he got swept every time he goes. You know, I, I, if I know Yuri, I think he's, he's a really intelligent guy, very successful competitor. He's got a very good coach. I expect him to switch strategies completely.